What's up guys, it's Darius, and today I'm going to be talking about some Final Fantasy XV news for you guys. Now, this is actually going to be talking about the literal world that we're going to be exploring in Final Fantasy XV. The reason why we're going to actually be talking about this is because Tabata came out recently talking about the world of Final Fantasy itself, and how only the first half of the game is actually traditional open world, while the second half is going to be linear. Now, of course, because it's the internet, everyone took this negatively, not everyone, but most people took this negatively and came with some knee-jerk reactions saying how, of course, this would happen to 15, of course, this is, you know, not going to be traditional because it's 15, yada, 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 because development of 15 hasn't been that steady throughout its lifetime, all the way from verse 13. But this is something that we've actually heard about before and seen before. So, obviously, some people's, a lot of people's reaction to this from the Final Fantasy community side obviously could come from 13 because when 13 came out it was not traditional open world I don't even really think they promised it would be open world but there was some open world aspects to the game but not on the level that a lot of people wanted it to and I know that it, ca it came up with some uh, gameplay issues because of that I know I ran to into them myself for example when I first went against Barth Vandalus I was very much under leveled and it took me about, I would say, three months to actually beat the dude. Like, it was ridiculous. I got to it and I was basically in the airship part. Then I couldn't leave that airship and go back to a previous part to maybe level up easier. I literally had to struggle in that airship and beat those enemies before I could go on to Barthanalus uh, level up better. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we've experienced some really weird, I guess, gameplay issues on the aspects of open world in the past with Final Fantasy, so I guess that's where a lot of this backlash, or some of it is coming from. Uh, like I said before, a lot of it is just due to the game being 15. A lot of people like to talk negatively about 15. And rightfully so in some aspects, the game has gone through a lot of trouble, but, you know, like we said, like we've seen before, it's about as very much into the development of the game, and he can't wait to actually get the game out in the full version the way he wants it to be. But anyways, yeah, let's just talk about this in general. So, the reason why I'm personally not surprised or not shocked about this or whatever is because this man has actually mentioned this before. Like, I know a lot of the main, probably the main, I don't know, I don't want to say casual gaming, but be people who don't follow the development of games in general or don't follow but like I'll say p people who have not followed the development of 15 as closely as we have they do not know that Tabata has mentioned before that this game is not going to be completely open world like The Witcher and everything that we've seen like games like The Witcher uh, games like GTA game traditional open world games like that he's mentioned before that this game is not going to be you go here or or like you go here and then you can go completely to another part of the map where uh, you're going to be going against the last boss but you're not completely ready for that so you shouldn't do that uh, they mentioned before that there's going to be points in the game where you're going to be able to travel back and you're going to be able to go against past bosses if you've done them already before but the whole game is not going to be like that uh, and that's pretty obvious too so if you guys don't know a lot of people play Final Fantasy games for the story and as you can tell this game is very much story driven is no exception to that so of course towards some part of the game it's going to get linear there's going to be parts in the game where you're going to have to go you're going to be forced back to certain points in certain areas in the game so you can actually progress the story and not just be grinding the whole time now it's actually good that he's told us this too because that eliminates the fact that most of the game is going to be open world or half of it's going to be open world already kind of eliminates the problem that i ran into when i played 13. But the fact that he's even telling us this also helps to let us know that hey when you're at this open world part definitely try to grind as much as possible find out everything you have because later on you're going to need all of that xp you're going to need all those weapons all those items all that experience in order to go against these tougher bosses that you're going to get in these linear parts where you may not be able to go back now the fact that the second half of this game is linear does not necessarily mean we will not be able to go back to the open world part 
and then get to linear parts again to finish the story. Just because the first half is uh, open world doesn't mean that the second half is, uh, because it's linear, is going to completely hold you back from accessing the past parts. In fact, Tabata has confirmed before that you're going to be able to go back as long as you've actually discovered those places. So that's basically it. I mean, he's mentioned this before. There really isn't much more to say about it. In terms of the linear part, anyone who's completely against the linear part of this game, I've reported on it before that, and I'm, I'm maybe some other play, some other channels have as well. But they said that they were very much inspired by the Last of Us in terms of the tone and the gameplay of the story. Uh, and anyone who's played The Last of Us knows that there are some parts where in the game where it's not a huge open world, but the game does give you a little bit of time to say, you know, we're gonna slow it down for a little bit. You guys can go over here, check out stuff, pick up some resources. Obviously, there are going to be, you know, secret side story things that you can pick up when you actually are able to explore certain areas and it's gonna be secret dungeons and all that stuff in 15, it's gonna be secret dungeons, all that stuff. So that's really it guys. I mean, I'm not to say that if you, you personally, if you don't like this, that you're wrong. I'm just here to say that we have known this for the longest time and it's been obvious and it's not all bad in my opinion. Like there's really not that much bad to this. <laughs> I mean, with any game, as the game ends, it gets more linear because the story is ramping up and it's coming to an end and everything has to come together. It can't be all over the place and you're, you know, you're not knowing what's going on because there's no structure to it. With every game toward the end, the story gets tighter and you, the game forces you to do certain things to say, hey, this story is coming to an end, you know, you know it. So maybe you want to go back, maybe you want to farm some stuff. And that's the reason why I think we'll be able to actually go back to the open world parts and farm and grind for all that stuff. And even if not, we know what to do when we get to that open world part. It's to farm as much as possible, and he's telling us this for a reason if that's what's going to happen. But I personally believe we will be able to go back to those previous parts and actually grind as much as possible, get all that stuff we're ready for, because toward the end we're going to need it. The boss is going to be ridiculous, the game is going to get serious, and I actually personally cannot wait for that because by him telling us that it's telling us that whatever you experience first half the story is going to be great toward the first half of the game but toward the end you're going to have to go down this path with these characters because it's getting serious in terms of the story but anyways that's really it for the video guys let me know what you guys think of all this down in the comment section below uh were you not aware of this i mean i had reported on it before i can't remember exactly what video how far back it was but i do remember reporting on how the game would be first half some 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 parts of the game would be completely open world while later on some parts of the game would be very much linear but yeah let me know now in the comment section below what you think about all this if you enjoyed the video please give it a like like i said go down below in the comment section i'll be down with you guys discussing share this info with people who are not aware of this info before and if you are new to the channel and you enjoy this video and you want content like this in the future please subscribe and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching